Alright guys, welcome back to part 17, the final part of my 007 Nightfire game series. Um, yeah. This is probably going to be hard. Because you only have so much time. Okay, so here's one. I'm you with persistence, Mr. Bond. Persistence and failure. There are little large sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated. By turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. I'll let them finish you off. Just a hundred, I'm not gonna get it. Just the way the point system works out. Need that extra fifty thousand to uh, actually win this. see what we have got. This is going to be depressing if it isn't. Oh, and it is too. Perfect. See, my health remaining was too low, so if this was just a normal run, I wouldn't have gotten the uh, points I needed to get a gold. But because I get that extra 50,000 from the, uh, the 007 bonus, 
it kind of makes up for it, and then the 100,000 adds to it. It makes, it made sense in my head when I started speaking, so. So for that, because you guys won't see me again after this, we won the Bond spacesuit. So, I'm just going to go through really quick all of the levels and what you win. Obviously the reward cards are for bronze, the first multiplayer thing is for silvers, the second mul or this the upgrades, because they're always upgrades, are for golds, and then you get a second multiplayer uh, skin or mode. I think they're all skins though for platinums as well. So I mean in theory, you know, you don't have to get platinum and everything. It doesn't affect your in-game non-multiplayer uh, experience, but nonetheless, I wanted to complete this game because I love it, so I'm going to skip this part because we saw it already. It's in part 11, I think, if you guys wanted to see that. So I'm going to take this opportunity right here to thank you guys for watching, regardless of whether you watched one video, all of them, anywhere in between. As far as 007 games go, and I feel like I'm repeating myself because I said some of this last time the credits rolled, but uh, like in, I think it was part 11 there, part 10 or 11, whichever one was my Equinox level, but uh, I'm planning on doing 007 Everything or Nothing. I'll probably do GoldenEye Rogue Agent, but I probably won't complete it completed. I'll just do a run of the story and kind of leave it because I've beaten the game kind of complete whatever the requirements are but it wasn't the most fun experience ever I did it for the sake of completing I don't know if I want to put myself through that again uh, I will play 007 Quantum of Solace I will only be playing that on normal though I'm not really that great at it Bloodstone 007 is the most recent I shouldn't say the most recent release because I think 007 Legends was but uh, most recent release that I own for the PlayStation 3. I will be doing that. I don't know what difficulty I'm going to do because I can survive on 007 difficulty, but or 00 difficulty, sorry, I should call it. But I haven't actually beaten all the levels yet on 007 or 00 or whatever it is, the hardest difficulty there. And I haven't played it in a while either. But I think there were like two levels that I kind of struggled with out of the. I can't remember if it's 17 or 19, but nonetheless. So those are games in this, you know, world that I plan on using. Uh, I did record this off my GameCube. I own the PlayStation 2 version as well. The only there's actually a major difference between this and the PS2 version. Uh, this one, the multiplayer, you can actually have six bots as opposed to the four that you can only have on the PlayStation 2. And you can play multiplayer by yourself, so you can play all the modes, different characters, weapon setups, everything like that by yourself against the bots, which is pretty awesome. And uh, it definitely adds a lot more to the game, just being able to kind of jump in there and, you know, nowadays we have all this online stuff, but this came out in 2002. So it was nice that you didn't have to have somebody sitting next to you, you could just jump in there. You didn't want to play, or you didn't want to, you didn't want to play the story is what I was trying to say there. But you kind of just want to play the game anyways, get some shooting in, get some, you know, get some point scoring. There's different modes and everything. You can switch it up, change characters. So that was nice. But having those extra two bots can really make it a lot more challenging. Especially if you want to do something stupid like put all six bots on the opposite team of you. That's fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, what I was getting at is I have three other games that I'm doing on GameCube. Resident Evil Zero, the Resident Evil Remake, and the Resident Evil 2. Which is just a port. But, 
my PlayStation 1 uh, disc doesn't work. And I have it on the PlayStation Network as well, but I figured while I have the GameCube hooked up, I'll just use this controller. And then everything else, Resident Evil 3, 4, Code Veronica, 5, 6, and Revelations are all going to be shot on the PS3, so I figure I'll give the GameCube a little bit of love in here. Oh, and all those 007 games that I mentioned are going to be our PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3 games. Like, this is it. This game and the Resident Evils are the only GameCube games that I'm doing. I do own a couple more, but I'm not going to shoot them. So anyways, that's the foreseeable future. I'm currently uploading like mad right now. I'm in between uploading, I think I'm at part 10 or 11 for Legend of Dragoon and I've, I've got my Crash 2 up. I'm uploading Crash 3. I'm going to have all the CTR and Crash Bash done by the end of this week. Obviously by the time this video goes out, that's probably going to be like, you know, a couple weeks ago. But I plan on not giving my computer any rest for the next little while and just upload, upload, upload. Once I do get caught up in my recordings, and I'll mention this in other videos too that I'm recording now, but uh, I am in university, so October, mid-October is going to be pretty dry as far as recording goes because that's all midterms and whatnot. And then obviously a good chunk of December is going to be, December might be a no-fly zone in essence between, you know, Christmas and and you know exams and whatnot I probably won't get much gaming done So I think I will say thank you once more and I will leave you, it should, the video should be ending soon. And yeah, so I thank you for watching however much of my Nightfire series as you watched. This was a 17 part series, a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be but I, I didn't let my other videos run too long. And I did a couple levels just by themselves, which I really shouldn't have done, like earlier levels. But at least when I went through the Platinum time, I think I cut it down by three more videos, so... That, knowing what I was doing, of course, that helps. But nonetheless, I will let you guys go. Enjoy what's left of the soundtrack and the credits here. And I will see you, hopefully, in another game series of mine. Until then, Sharby out.